Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am doing a Fragrance Friday. So if you've been coming over here to check out um, any fragrances, i.e. perfumes, I'm going to try to do a Fragrance Friday most every Friday here on this channel. I also do uh, home fragrance reviews of candles and wax melts and the like. So if you love to, please subscribe and like this uh, video, that would be awesome. Um, before I get started, I had this tag idea and I hadn't seen anyone do this in the fragrance world. So I've decided to, and I'm going to list all the people I'm tagging down below. These are all the ladies I have been during COVID-19 been watching of their reviews, their hauls, um, just their, their personalities are all beautiful. I've gotten some major awesome recommendations from all of these women. Um, they're from all over the place. We have some island ladies, we have American, we have European ladies, Canadians, all that. So anyway, um, what I decided to do is do this tag video. This tag video, of course, I'm going to list below all the other uh, YouTube pages slash Instagram pages that you can follow all these lovely ladies on. But also, I wanted to do this on testers. Now, testers of fragrance. These are, i.e., these little, you know, the little testers you get when you order stuff online or they throw them in the bag for you um, on your way out to the store, that kind of thing. I thought it would be fun to go through our testers and find out. Now, I don't have as many as I'm sure some of these ladies do. So they can do their own twist on it, whether it's pull out of a hat and um, kind of do their own review on it and that. And the big thing is the whole idea of testers and companies giving these testers out is they're hoping you're going to buy it. So my question is a kind of a Samantha March, will I buy it, which I will tag her down below. She does makeup mostly, um, but this is her idea, will I buy it? But in fragrance, um, so basically, again, did it work? Did uh, all these testers, I keep all my testers in like a toothbrush uh, holder and then I just got this one in the mail. So, and I've actually cut up some boxes, like cereal boxes and that, so I can use as a little test, like a little fragrance spray thing. Cards, cards, yes. So anyway, you guys, um, thank you again for joining me. Uh, feel free to go down and go check out the other lovely ladies down below of all the people I was following. Um, and again, I wanna go through all my testers with you to tell you, will I buy it? Do I like it? Do I not like it? What don't I like about it and what I love about it? So let's move on. So, you know, I'm pretty upscale here and have to go. <laughs> I do everything, you know, old school, hand bone, that kind of thing. Anyway, so we're going to start with this Toca Stella Eau de Parfum. So this I just received in the mail. I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. So this is, um, they describe it as a blood orange and spicy lily flirt with white freesia and sensual sandalwood. So with this one, let's get this little sprayer out. Um, I was a little bit worried because a lot of these ladies, not everyone likes toka because toka tends to be like maybe a little air freshener scent to, to a lot of people. So again, it's, uh, toka's Stella. This is really, really actually quite nice, quite fruit, like definitely get that orange. I can't say I get the sandalwood, but I get the, the lily and the orange. Would I buy this? I don't know. If I felt like this is something I wanted, probably too late this season, because this is definitely a summer fragrance for me. Later in the season now to want to buy it, because I won't be able to use it as much before the, the heady, more uh, gourmand season for me would come. But it's nice, but I don't know if I would purchase it, you know? So there's that one. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got so many things. Some of these ladies, I can only imagine what they have. <laughs> um, this one is, oh yes, this one. It's, an, it's a Guerlain fragrance, which I do love a good Guerlain fragrance. But this is the Aqua Allegoria Bergamot Calabria. So this one is citrus, warm and spicy, aromatic, freshy, fresh, spicy, woody. Top notes of Calabrian bergamot, uh, petagrain, petagrain, mid notes of cardamom, ginger, and base notes of wood and white musk. This is a no to me. This is very mossy, very green, too green. Like, I like a green tea. I love Elizabeth Arden's green tea, but this is just, it's, it's, mmm, overpowering. 
it's overpowering for my nose. I don't think I'd want to be wearing this. It is on the edge of a male, a men's fragrance, which I don't mind men's fragrance, but it's on the edge of it just needs a little bit more of a more bergamot or more musk and then boom, it's a men's fragrance. Oh, it's gone up my nose. Oh, it burns, it burns. Uh, you know. Um, okay, so this one I got as a sample from an order I placed during the Sephora VIB. This is from Skylar, the company Skylar, in Isle. So this is just a little sample one here. And let's see here. This is supposed to be clean, fresh, citrus, and spiced sandalwood. I really like this one. This is not the first time I've sprayed this one. I like this one. This is like an everyday white t-shirt heading out the door. Summertime, fresh. Girl wears a ponytail in her hair, like I do. Jeans, t-shirt kind of gal, right? This is really, really nice. Get out of the shower, spray this. This is beautiful. So it's Skylar Isle. So I would purchase this. This is so far out of the three of these for sure I would want to purchase this one. It's quite lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay, next up. Dang, I wish I had a table in front of me, you know? Oh yes, Daisy Love. Daisy Love, let's see where my write-up is for this. Mark Jacobs, okay, so Daisy Love is uh, floral, scent type is warm floral, and keynotes are crystallized cloud berries, daisy tree petals, and cashmere musk with driftwood. And you can see, I don't hate this. You can see how much of this I've gone through. There's a little bit of juiciness in this, the, the fruit. I'm gonna say it's cloudberries, crystallized cloudberries, because I don't even know what that smells like, except to say that to my nose, this is definitely a fresh scent with a really nice berry note, and I love me fruit. I love the tartness and the berries and that. So as you can tell, the da Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs, I would likely be purchasing that one down in the down the road too. 100% um, would repurchase this one. Oh man, this is really good. Oh, so fresh is pretty good too. I think I got that one coming, I don't even know. I think it's coming up, but um, I like that one. It's really, really nice, nice berry. So again, if you like a, a berry scent, I think that would be very good. That would be very good. Wow, I'm bad. All right, so then we have, okay, Calvin Klein's Euphoria, which is really, really popular. And it's, sorry, some things got stuck together. Um, it seems to be really, really popular, but a lot of people, I think it was popular at one point, and I think people, it might still be part of the older 90s style, early 2000s style type fragrances, which were really heady, because I see more and more people decanting or selling their Euphoria. So this is, again, Calvin Klein's Euphoria. It's not for me, it's too, it's very, again, I grew, I was born in the 70s, 80s, my childhood and my adolescence was the 90s. I graduated high school in 96. This is exactly the type of fragrance that I could see being popular in, like I said, the 90s and early 2000s before perfume houses were like uh, expanding a little bit more. Really, and people were really starting to buy, uh, like there was just, the, our noses got to, go, got to change because the, the options were definitely there. It's too floral for me and it's definitely not something I would purchase in the future myself. All right, so the next up, oh, well, Viva La Juicy, I think I have, yeah, Viva La Juicy, I already have this in a full size. I do like it. I know it's cliche and I know it's not unique or any of that stuff, um, but I keep this little vial around too because if I want to go traveling and rather than take my three point whatever bot ounce bottle with me, this would be a great little um, travel spray. So, Juicy or Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture is described as top notes of mandarin, wild berries, mid notes of honeysuckle and jasmine petals, base notes of gardenia, uh, creamy amber, caramel woods, vanilla sandalwood, and praline. And my body, my body uh, makes it very sweet, makes it very gourmand. So every like this makes this smells more like the pralines and the sweetness, um, like uh, caramel woods, definitely just with a little bit of mandarin and berries. Like, so I would say I get, my body definitely gets the base notes, whereas the top notes of the mandarin and wild berries kind of dissipate over time. So I really like this. I, I did buy 
yes, I did buy a full bottle of that. Oh, that one is good. This is very, very good. So the next one is, oh yes. Okay, so the next one is a Zara Wanted Girl. Let's just see here. Oh, there we go. All right, so a Zara's Wanted Girl. So this is the little wee one I've got here. You can sort of see, there you go. Um, fragrance notes, top is ginger flower. Where are you? Ginger flower, mid notes are dolce de leche and base is Haitian vetiver. Not my favorite. I think it's the vetiver. Cause like of all the other notes, oh, dolce de leche is a sweet thing, but I, my skin brings up more of the Haitian vetiver than it does the uh, dolce de leche or the ginger flower, which I wish it was in the reverse, but everybody's body is going to be different, right? So I wouldn't repurchase this, but I will go through this because it's, it's nice. It's like to throw it in your purse kind of thing before you, before you go, go, you know, wake me up. I'm so old. <laughs> Okay, so this is another one here. Um, this is Carolina. Okay, this bottle is obnoxious, but everyone loves it. Not everyone. A lot of people love it. This is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. And so if you guys know, maybe you don't know the name, but you recognize the bottle, I'm not computer literate or have editing software at the moment to be able to put that up for you. But it's in a shape of a very like pointy going to stab you uh, heel. It's in like a, a nice little high stiletto heel shoe. Um, it's very synonymous. Everyone knows it probably by the look more than the name. Um, let's see here. The fragrance fa family is floral. Scent type is warm floral. Keynotes are tuberose, jasmine and tonka bean. I know I don't think I get along as well with tuberose because I don't see it in a lot of these other fragrances as much. It's just, it's not something I would spend the money on. Um, the bottle's really obnoxious, but anyway, I don't think I'd spend the money on it, but I know it's super popular. I know lots of people who love it. So I probably wouldn't pur purchase this. Okay. All right, so we have from the house, um, we go. Do, do, do. Maison Martin Margiela, uh, Whispers in the Library. I got this sample from Sephora. So at the time when I was getting this, I ended up buying by the fireplace, but I wanted to get the, the small 10 mil spray bottle of, uh, of this, but they didn't have it. And you look online at the time, they didn't have it either. So I wasn't willing to spend a huge amount of money. I love the buy at the fireplace. So I bought the little spray one, but I wanted to test this one out. So this is whispers in the library. And it does, it smells like library books. It smells like the old wood, like, you know, going to an old library. Mm. It does like the whole house of Maison Margiela. Um, is based on like fragrance memories. So Beach Walk and they've got Lazy Sundays. They've got so many different things and their whole idea is they want to create a memory that you had somewhere. And they did a really good job with this. If you like on the, on the more musky leaning towards a manly scent, this would be it. So it's got pepper, vanilla, woods and cedar. So you got the page that you flip through an old book, the plastic covering on the outside of the books because you know they were rentals of it literally is a library. But it's just so good because most libraries were in really old buildings and that so, oh man, that's so good. Love this. Um, I don't know if I can find it in a small spray, I would get the small spray, but I don't think I could commit to a $150 bottle because um, that's a lot of money for something that you might just wear every so often kind of thing. So, oh, so this is something new to me because I picked this, I got, sorry, I received this when I made my latest purchase of fragrance. This is C. Passione from Giorgio Armani. So, like I said, I just got this. This is good. This is really good. I'm really, I think I like the whole sea line. I like poison. I love, I, I love the sea. Oh, yes. Okay. Opens with spicy pink pepper. And then it goes pear, black currant, floral, rose, jasmine, heliotrope, vanilla, and cedarwood. 
I like this. This to me would be a great fragrance for the spring in the evening. I really, really do like this one. I consider, I would consider purchasing this in the future for sure. Mmm, this is so, again, Si Passione. S-I, Passione. It's really, really good. Love it. Okay, keeping on with the theme. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm, I'm just grabbing something and then going. Okay, so the House of Siage, if you guys are aware, I purchased a few candles from the House of Siage. And they are from um, California in the United States. And so they're a perfume house. And they've also started doing body care, candles, and so on. But they're most known for their cupcake perfumes. So they're perfumes with the encrusted, beautiful, bejeweled um, cupcakes. Um, and then they do even more exclusive lids to those same cupcakes as well. But it's obviously it's the juice at the end of the day. That, that's, that's how they became popular. So House of Siage, this one is The Trend, which I think is on the next page. Um, oh boy, where are you? Oh, the trend number three. So again, so that's what I got when I ordered the candles. Top is orange flower, mid is black tea, base is powdered sugar. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. There's something sharp to it. It's, um... Dare I say Windexy? And it might just be the alcohol and I'm gonna let it kind of settle down a little bit. It's still there. I don't know. I don't think I it's for me it's not my favorite. This is trend number three. It's not something I would spend a lot. They're they're expensive. They are very expensive. But this is um from the House of Siage, another sample I received. Whispers of Enlightenment. Okay, so Top is rhubarb, pink sugar, bergamot, peach, and orange. Mid notes are rose, jasmine, absolute, black currant. Base is vetiver, patchouli, caramel, solar notes, and moss. No, no, I can't do this one. Ooh, no, 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 um, no. I, li I like rhubarb, but I'm think I think it's a vetiver. I just don't think I get along with vetiver. I know that they've got some fragrances that I have eyed based on their scent note descriptions that are more gourmand and things like that. I think I would get on with a little bit more. I definitely get the moss, the patchouli, the vetiver, and maybe a bit of black currant, but not my favorite. I'm still going to use it, but I wouldn't purchase again. I wouldn't go all out for a fragrance like that, especially when you're spending a pretty penny. You want to make sure you know you like it um, a lot. Um, okay, so here's something interesting. Okay, so this is the Sol de Janeiro Sol Charissa 62. I have the body spray of this, but I do have a sample of the perfume. Which, if you ask a lot of people who have both body spray and the perfume, they feel to most people the same. But the, but the bottle of perfume, Eau de Parfum, uh, is $102 Canadian, let's say, and the body spray, which is like four times as much juice in it, and you can douse yourself and layer it with a lotion if you want to, lasts just as long, supposedly, um, and uh, it's like a quarter of the price for like three or four times more product. So my, my tip to you is if you like the lotion and all that stuff, layer it up, you just buy the body spray, don't have to buy the perfume. But I love this scent. You guys know this. I love the candle. I own almost everything in this particular line. This is the Boom Boom uh, line, the Sol de Janeiro and the kind of yellowy orange-ish um, container. Oh, this is summer to me. This is summer synonymous to summer for me. I love it. Right now I have the, sh the shower gel, I have the foot lotion, I have the body cream, I have the body spray. I'm just, I'm, I have the hand lotion. I, I have so much of it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, that would be really great to take on a tropical vacation somewhere. That would be really great. Okay, so then we have, uh, where were we? I have Idol, which is like the world's thinnest, um, thinnest fragrance because it's that really, really skinny um, bottle. Why don't I have this one? Idol. I know I wrote it out. Apparently I have lost it. Oh no, it's right here. Okay. So Lancome Idol. 
Fragrance Family is floral. Scent type is classic floral. And keynotes are Jasmine Absolute, oops, Jasmine Absolute Rose and Chypre Accord. It's lovely. To me, I like this, but it's more for the, the young woman who just started her first career. So in, if she's fortunate enough, that would be in her, towards her later 20s. I feel that this would be, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy this down the road. It wouldn't be something of all of these things I would get right away. To me, this would be an, a very friendly fragrance, very inviting, very open fragrance. Again, that, that woman who just started her first career, real good job getting paid every, you know, whenever, you know, consistently getting paid, love and life. Everything's easy breezy, but it's not for me. I'm a little bit, I'm, I mean, I'm not old. I get that, but I mean, I'm in my 40s. I'm going to be creeping up to my mid 40s shortly, but I, I like it. It's just very, a young floral fresh. Does that make sense? But I can definitely see a lot of women younger. And I know lots of women who are older or my age also love that, but that's just my nose and, and how I perceive the scent to be. Um, okay, so then we have doo -doo 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 -doo, Gucci Guilty, and it does say home, doesn't it? Yeah, poor home. So this is for guys. I got the sample. Geranium, pink pepper, lilac, peach, amber, patchouli. Um, it's a style of modern, electric, and romantic. No, I can't do this. Definitely, it, it's um. I know it's really popular in the in the men's. Ooh, it, mm. Oh no, I can't do it. It actually stings. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> it's Gucci guilty for a men, but no, no, no. <laughs> Why am I still smelling it? <laughs> oh, I but I gotta know. Everyone's nose is different. You might love it, and that's totally fine. I'm totally game for that. Okay, so La Vie, the La Vie Belle from um, also Lancome. Fragrance family is warm and spicy. Scent type is warm and sweet with gourmands. Keynotes are iris, vanilla, and praline. I know it's cliche, guys, but I bought a bottle of this for my wedding day, which is coming up in like three weeks. I don't even know. It's probably even less time than that by the time this video goes up. Oh, I, I love this one. And it's got good sillage. It's very strong. Lasts on my skin. Lasts on my clothes a long time. So La Vie, La Vie Belle from Lancome. I do love it. I do enjoy it very much. Mm, I, I have purchased it. So, if you know, I have, a, I have a full bottle of it. So if that's an indicator. It, it, a lot of people who are into fragrance, you know, are finding it to be very generic because everyone's wearing it. But I do love it. Um, it lasts really well. The gourmand really comes out on my skin for on me. So, um, light uh, the Gio. Um, let's see where are we? Where are we? Uh, so fragrance family, fresh scent type, fresh floral fragrance note, jasmine, gardenia, warm woods. So I really like this. I am getting the aqua. I got, this is light Digio, Digio, Giorgio Armani fragrance. I ended up buying the aqua Digio. I always say it wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm butchering it. And I like the aqua better than this, but if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have wanted to smell or even know about the aqua one. So technically, even though I didn't buy this one, like in full bottle, I did end up finding something from a, the same house, but it's slightly different scent. And then I'm buying a full bottle of it. So um, I don't know. It might be something in the future. I mean, I've gone through quite a bit, quite a bit, but not right now, not this particular moment. Um, okay, so then we have a Jean Paul Gaultier. Um, Jean Paul Gaultier Classique, which is classic. And I, I have the Scandal. I love the Scandal. Um, so Jean Paul Gaultier Classic top notes are rose, fresh anise, and mids are orange, blossom, and ginger, and base notes are vanilla and amber. Now he has some like pretty like I like the house on uh, Jean, Jean Paul Gaultier. I do like his house. A little floral for me. 
I love Skandal because of the honey and the balm and like it just it's like mmm fall it's very very fall winter and the sillage I'm sure this is too but I prefer the Skandal over a classique and if you like florals though I would go with the classique over the Skandal mm. I don't think I would purchase that one in full size personally Dolce and Gabbana light blue. Okay, so here's the thing with Dolce and Gabbana light light blue. There's the light blue, the regular, which is what I've got here. But there's also the intense or intense. And if I can suggest to get the intense from everything I've been watching from other people, get the intense version because it lasts longer. Now this is a scent that everyone loves. I don't have a sprayer on this one. Everyone loves a Dolce, and a Dolce and Gabbana light blue, but it doesn't last very long. It's a very light fragrance. Um, but if you get the intense version, it's supposed to last a few hours longer and so on and so forth. And it may, it's a couple dollars extra a bottle and everyone who I've seen who says that they've had both, they say that it's worth your while to get the intense version. It is lovely and it is a unisex sense, scent. Dolce & Gabbana does do a lot of unisex. It is very light and airy. So the fragrance fam family is fresh as it states. Scent types is fresh citrus uh, and fruits. Keynotes are citrus, apple, and bamboo. And it's lovely. It is lovely. Not everybody likes this one, um, but it is lovely. But I find myself putting in my cart, cart and taking it out. Putting in my cart, taking it out. I think it's because everybody has it. But um, also, I used to work for a can Canadian company called Roots back in the day, and they made a fragrance. I think it was blue. It was just called blue, and it was pretty much this in a nutshell. And you can find it on some of the online fragrance um, discount stores. So I would suggest maybe giving that a shot. This is interesting. Um, i got to find it here. This is exceptional because you are, and I think this is the one that when I ordered from Fragrance Net, they gave me this, and I was like, well, I've never even heard of this. So it's Fragrance Net is one of the online purchase like companies that I can purchase from discounts um, on very high high end brand name fragrances. But apparently, I'm gonna say it's their own brand, Exceptionnel, because you are Eau de Parfum. All I could find of it is floral and aquatic. It's, I don't know, it's alcoholy, but I'm just gonna let it dry down a little bit. No, it smells like pencil shavings. I don't know why. <laughs> and then flowers, pencil shavings and flowers. So um, I can appreciate that Fragrance Net made this or they're accompanied by this or what have you, but no, <laughs> not for me. Um, but thank you for the sample. That's lovely. Um, okay. Oh yes, another one that everyone everyone has, loves, and can be fairly generic to some because of that, but I will say it is definitely on my list of things to pick up. And that is YSL's Black Opium. And there's a major reason why I love this. Oh, Because again, my body type just brings out the sweetness, the gourmand of any fragrance that has any sort of gourmand in it. So YSL Black Opium Fragrance fam Family is warm and spicy. Scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. And keynotes are black coffee, white florals, and vanilla. But this is exactly what I, you know, again, you can sort of tell I have worn this out a few times. I really love this. A great, sexy evening scent. If you don't have anyone in your life at this time, this would definitely be a go-getter catcher, I would think at the club, if the clubs were to open. <laughs> mm. Your friend sets you up on a blind date. Wear this, if you think it's worth it. <laughs> if the person's worth it to you. Okay, last one. Okay, sorry. Oh, I, well, it's not, it's the same one. I have Idol again. So that is everything, you guys. So again, I'm gonna have a list of all the people that I um, really do appreciate. I've been following them on their channels for fragrances. I tag all of them to do the same. Any of my wax friends here on YouTube who also do home fragrance, 
um, and you know who you are. If you also are keen on fragrance, I tag you to do this as well. Just all you're doing is grabbing your samples. You can do your own twist on it, but just to find out, will you buy it? Is it something you like? Do you, did they do their job by sending you samples or did they not know you? Like sometimes I wonder when they send you samples and you buy a specific kind of perfume, like all of the perfume that you bought was a specific kind and then they throw in like the scent that's completely on the polar opposite of what you would normally buy, smell, whatever. And you're like, oh, no. So anyway, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any more ideas for Fragrance Fridays down below, um, let me know. I would love to hear them. And I hope that Fragrance Fridays we can just carry on and I've got a friend coming over to do a video with me um, and then I'll probably be posting in a little while. Like I said, I'm only going to post these Fragrance Fridays on Friday. As always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.